1 Samuel chapter 7 in the Bible recounts a significant event in the life of Samuel and the Israelites. Chapter 7 begins with the people of Israel lamenting and turning their hearts back to the Lord. Samuel, who is now a prophet and judge over Israel, encourages them to put away their foreign gods and commit themselves to the Lord alone. The people respond by gathering at Mizpah to seek God's forgiveness and guidance. In Mizpah, the Israelites fast and confess their sins, acknowledging their waywardness and the need for God's mercy. Samuel intercedes for them, offering a burnt offering to the Lord. As they are gathered in prayer, the Philistines, who were longtime enemies of Israel, hear about the assembly and decide to attack. However, God intervenes on behalf of the Israelites. He sends a great thunder that confuses the Philistines and throws them into a panic. In their disarray, the Israelites seize the opportunity and pursue their enemies, defeating them and reclaiming the cities that had been under Philistine control. To commemorate their victory and express gratitude, Samuel sets up a stone and names it Ebenezer, which means, Stone of Help. The stone serves as a reminder of God's faithfulness and the victory he granted to the Israelites. The chapter concludes by summarizing Samuel's ministry as a judge and prophet. He continues to lead Israel in righteousness and fairness, traveling each year to various cities to offer judgment and guidance to the people. 1 Samuel chapter 7 highlights the importance of repentance, prayer, and seeking God's forgiveness. It showcases the power of genuine repentance and the faithfulness of God in delivering his people from their enemies. The chapter also emphasizes Samuel's role as a spiritual leader, judge, and mediator between God and the people of Israel.